Um, gee, there's, there's just all kinds of little snapshots of, of my life that I kind of want to share around this. And I think one of the significant things for me is, is being raised by lesbian parents, lesbian feminist parents who, like, was, they were always telling me from as young as I can remember the whole girls can do anything boys can do, boys can do anything girls can do, don't let gender hold you back. And, and that's kind of been a really significant thing for me. When I was growing up and, and, and kind of identified my gender difference, I saw it in, the, in terms of, of breaking stereotypes. And, and eventually I kind of got to a space of like, you know what, I, 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 I'm breaking gender stereotypes, but I'm not breaking gender stereotypes as a guy that doesn't fit gender stereotypes. I'm breaking gender stereotypes as a woman who doesn't fit gender stereotypes. And, um, and that, was, that was kind of difficult for me to, to figure out exactly how to frame that. Um, I spent a couple of years identified um, exclusively as genderqueer and not as trans, and I was, oh, I, was, I was at a debate tournament, and I was wearing a suit, and, and he sees me, and he's like, wow, Toby, you'd make a really hot dyke. <laughs> and, uh, and I was kind of like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and, um, and it meant a lot to me, because, great. you know, he, he, he was being fetishized by all the hot dykes, and... <laughs> Um, and, and then, like, a little while later, like, when I was kind of like, how do I, am I this, how do I, am I that, what, what does this mean, where do I fit, and, and he was like, you know, you can be a trans woman and be butch, you know that, right? <laughs> and, and I was like, no, that's not what I want to do. Um, <laughs> but it, it took me a while to kind of, like, really feel like I could claim that, and I could take that, and, and it, like, not just that I could intellectually, academically do that, but that I could, like, have that be what's seen as well. And, and it's, it's, it's still difficult sometimes. Like, um, I, I remember going to a party, like, mm, six months, maybe a year ago, and, um, and running into someone there and explaining to them that, that I identify as butch. And I think she was trying to be a trans ally when she said, Oh, you're not butch. You're really femme. <laughs> and, and it was this back and forth, and I was like, No, I really am butch. No, no, you are really femme. And, and so, first of all, first of all, you know, being femme doesn't necessarily mean that I'm not butch. But then, also, it was this conflation. I think what she was really talking about was that I pass. And so somehow there was this idea that, that being feminine equals passing. And, and, and she was trying, and, and when I said I, I was butch, I think she heard, I am not confident in how I am perceived as a woman. And, um, and, and that, that was just a really awkward, frustrating thing. At the end, I was just kind of like, okay, whatever you think. And I, I uh, withdrew from the conversation. Um, well, I guess um, when I was kind of coming to terms of coming out um, trans, gender, queer, I have many identities that are kind of all in a string of adjectives that, you know, just kind of keep going and going, and I just keep packing them on. Um, but... When I first started coming out, I was only, I was really disconnected from any sort of community. Um, so I was trying to find online resources and like an online community. And none of them really spoke to like, to how I was experienced gender. Um, I stumbled across this group called Gender Queer Chicago and I decided to check them out. And it was an amazingly empowering space because it was a space that was comprised mostly of um, trans masculine identified or gender queer identified female assigned at birth people. And but the, the, the type of masculinity that many of them were presenting and portraying was sort of a kind of a sort of a hybrid of, of many different types of, of presentation that flowed and shifted and that 
I was I just kind of was like that's that's it, and that uh, I can I can be part of this community and and go you know around to where I want to go and just wander around this this kind of nebulous field of gender without picking one, sticking to it because. I was always told that, you know, I like when I was coming out as trans, well, you know, you need this destination point. And I never really felt like I ever had a destination point. And I still don't. A lot of the things that we would we would do is a lot of theater actions and such. And one of them was um, we took over train cars on the L, the Chicago um, <laughs> the Chicago uh, transit system. And people would, would get on and they would have, they, they'd get on separately in this one train car and they'd be reading like queer theory literature or like, you know, Kate Bornstein's Gender Outlaw, like a lot of like queer literature and then like slowly start to recognize each other and like, hey, you're trans, I'm trans too. And like all these people standing up in the car and, and then like all the people who are just like looking around like what the hell is going on? And I think that, um, that that part of part of those kind of fear actions, like we we had one where we were in a park and we had this big banner that says "How do you defy gender?" and people would just write on it, and like we we got some fantastic responses from it because we got people thinking about gender and about what it meant to be cognizant of your gender expression and identity and be able to mold and shift it as how you're feeling. So that, that trying to expand the ideas of masculinity and femininity that would encompass a broader range of individuals and of shifting individuals, individuals that don't really have a stable identity, such as myself, such as many, many people I know. So that type of that type of play with gender, that type of questioning of it, um, has been very important um, for me to not view butch, not view femme, not view any of these things with a you know textbook definition that I have to follow, a checkbox that I have to check off, but I can just you know color everything in and, and you know make it fun, and that that to me would has been a, it is a space where I can be creative. So, um, okay. So, I think the 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 snapshot events that I want to talk about um, would be when I f I first started questioning um, my identity as a, a very um, conventionally feminine woman, and then when I decided to start identifying as not just as not conventionally feminine, but as butch, um, I was at Camp Trans. I was I was identifying as a lesbian, um, as a as a femme lesbian, and I was just sitting there ta um, talking with people, and one of one of my friends was just talking about about his gender and how he was like a femme bottom trans guy and how he he wanted nothing to do with um like traditional masculinity and I was just like wait a second I'm the exact opposite of you like I want nothing to do with this traditional femininity that I feel has been forced upon me. Um, and it was at that point that I realized trans people don't have to be a stereotype of what their gender identity is. So from, from that point, I was the, when I first started questioning um, my gender, really. Um, after that, um, I, th this, this is, this one's really silly, but when I first started to call myself Butch, um, I was, 
hanging out with some friends and we were walking around town and it was really cold and I didn't bring a jacket and one of them gave me here um, flannel and I wore it and I was just like, wait a second, I'm so butch, <laughs> <laughs> like this is me. Like, <laughs> it's it's such a silly story, but that's the first time I ever called myself Butch, and ever since that day, it's been one of the most important parts of my gender identity. Okay, so <clears throat> I should explain my gender a bit. I'm agender fluid. I have many other genders, but I'm mostly agendered. And I came out as using, like, radical language when I had not been introduced to the radical community at all. I came out saying that, like, I rejected the gender binary before I even realized that, like, this was a term that was being used by many different people. I didn't have many role models because there's not a very large KMAB like group of people who are on the internet who are aside from that life who are rejecting the as well and I kind of fell from that into this whole high femme thing through like abusive relationships with um, a girl who wasn't trans and was cisgendered. Um, just invalidating who I was as a person and kind of telling me that you have to wear a dress, you have to wear a skirt, you have to do this, you have to do that in order to be a true woman. And... I... broke up with her after being with her for for quite a long time and then um, kind of went out of this whole like god I own so many skirts and I own so many dresses and I cut most of them up and like made them into just t-shirts and started wearing jeans again and just went back to like my non-binary, non like traditionally feminine, tr non-traditionally masculine look that I go for. When I first came out to my mother, I was sitting in the car with her, in her car with her alone. And I believe she said something transphobic, to which I responded with me being trans. <coughs> to which she responded with something transphobic again. When, in saying that, well, you grew up playing sports. I mean, you couldn't possibly be a woman. You didn't have all these signifiers. I would be able to tell. I know these things. I was ranked number one in wrestling in Europe for a while, for like a while, and I like played soccer in having to explain that, wait, no, they have a women's team there as well, like, you know, like, it's not just dudes and stuff who play sports, <coughs> um, and I think that was kind of when I realized that I had a butch identity, and I am very fond of you know, just being butch and yeah, and yeah, that's one of the main stories I can remember about like having to like be like, no, there are all kinds of different types of women, 